What up, Connors? I was just streaming on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tsunarami. Go check it out. I will be back there once I finish this video. But we just got word on Global Dokkan of a Global Dokkan producer's letter. So let's take a look at this and see what's going on. Also, let me just check and see if Global Dokkan has dropped anything else since then. Uh, looks like there's nothing else. All right. So here's what's going on. This is the operation team for the international version of Dokkan Battle. Have you attempted the yearly April Fool's Day event? The event will be on until the 17th of April, so make sure you try it out if you haven't. Now let's move on to this month's producer's letter. April will provide a big chance to strengthen your characters. <laughs> yeah, sure. In part two, Whirling Cherry Blossom Springtime Dokkan campaign, you'll be able to get a lot of items that strengthen characters. Check out some of the available events on the next image. What's that? Oh yeah, this is the uh, the treasure chest thingy. So I talked about this on the campaign breakdown video. Um, I thought this was going to be something that just kind of gives you a bunch of items and whatnot. So I guess they're going to be focusing more on this. A special treasure chest uh, special treasure chest will be available from the 18th of April PST. Trade the treasure item Whirling Cherry Blossoms Lucky Ticket, which is available for a limited time, for a Whirling Cherry Blossoms Sacred Treasure Chest at the Baba Shop and get random rewards. Getting the top prizes allows you to recruit seven Elder Kais. Plus, you're guaranteed to recruit Mystery Elder Kais if you trade treasure items for a secret treasure chest ten or more times. Why did the background just light up? Obtaining treasure items by completing missions will give you up to 24 chances, so make sure you trade them all. Okay, so log in, get all the tickets, do whatever you got to do, and try to get as many Kais as you can. Springtime cumulative login bonus if you log in every day for five days during the event period, which are available from 23rd to the 28th you will get up to nine dragon stones. Yeah, this really isn't much, but you know, they're trying to fill out this April time slot. Like I said, this is no man's land for Global Dokkan. This is the final section of nothingness until hype intrigue starts to ramp up again. So they're trying to sell it as much as they can. You know, there's really not much that they can do here. Ooh, Kai's, ooh, nine stones, that sort of thing. Moving on here, some info for the upcoming campaign. Now, this is what we're waiting for. The aim for the top Dokkan campaign will be available at the same time as the JP version on the 27th of April PST. That is Golden Week. Aim for the top Dokkan campaign. I think... Aim for the top? Is that Tournament of Power? Is that Tournament of Power? That might be Tournament of Power. I could be coping, you know, but still, aim for the top Tournament of Power. That's pretty much our only clue at this point. This campaign will be all about the fights of Goku and friends as they... Aim to reach the top of the world tournament. Wait, which world tournament? Yo, if this is the tournament of power or if this is Dragon Ball? Dude, <coughs> are they actually going to do like Teen Goku versus Piccolo? Ma Junior? Wait a minute. And of course, a dual Dokkan festival will be held this year too. Among the new characters available in the dual Dokkan festival, there will be a character who possesses a new type of skill. So... This is the global Dokkan producer's letter. So remember that a new type of skill for us still constitutes some of the things that JP has already received. So I think this is telling us that this new unit or units coming up in the dual Dokkan festival will possess the charge skill, the finisher skill, basically giving us teasers or basically giving us our first hand look at the new mechanics that are going to be coming up during the eight year anniversary. We'll satisfy your curiosity and announce these characters next week. So be on the lookout. We'll disclose the details about events and available characters in the game on our official social media accounts. So stay tuned until the campaign begins. Let me just check and see real quick if JP Dokkan got something as well. So let me just pull up JP Dokkan real quick. I got to make sure to navigate across Twitter very carefully because you never know what kind of weirdos you see here. Uh, but there's nothing. Okay, so there is nothing so far on uh, the JP side of the game. They did not receive any video or anything like that. This is the last thing that they got. This was for 3,000 day Goku or 3,000 day celebration. So all we've got folks is aim for the top and they mention tur world tournament. Now world tournament very much seems like Dragon Ball. This actually doesn't seem like tournament of power because tournament of power is not really a world tournament. It's more of a universal tournament. So this really seems like this is going to be a Dragon Ball centric celebration. So let's actually go to the Dokkan wiki here and let's see if we can find some characters that kind of would emulate or I don't know, just kind of act like the stand ins for Dragon Ball Saga. So let's go to in game. Let's go to Dragon Ball Saga here. 
Okay, so units like Demon King Piccolo. Uh, we could even see like the AGL. Where's the AGL Extreme Piccolo? That's kind of the one that I was thinking about. Oh, is he not Dragon Ball Saga? Oh, okay. I actually don't think... Do we not have a younger Piccolo? Extreme Piccolo? The only one that we would possibly have would be the one from the LR that transforms. Is it this guy? Demon King Piccolo. I think he's the only one. I don't think there's anybody else who is a Demon King Piccolo. Oh, wait. No, no. This guy is. This guy is. The, the TUR is. Yeah. So I'm thinking a dual Dokkan festival could be a Demon King Piccolo along with an S, uh, along with the Goku Teen. Uh, is he not here? He's not here. Okay, let me let me pull up uh, Goku. He's not in the Dragon Ball Saga, even though he kind of should be. Goku, Goku, this guy. This guy really should be in Dragon Ball Saga. Why is he not in there? Because this is the Goku that shows up. Uh, after all that time had passed and he grew up. So I'm kind of thinking we could be looking at a Goku teen or just a Goku, I guess, and a Demon King Piccolo. What do you guys think about that? Based on the clues here, lack thereof, I guess, um, this is all that we've got. Does that seem like a pretty reasonable guess? I think so. Don't think of the golden, or not the golden, but don't think of the previous LR banner that just released on JP as any sort of hint. LR Super Boo has nothing to do with Golden Week as demonstrated last year. Last year, we had Saiyan Saga Goku Piccolo. And then the following Dokkan Festival during Golden Week was Android Cell Saga. So there's no correlation whatsoever uh, in terms of precedent. So don't use that LR Super Boo as any sort of, you know, precursor to what could be coming up. It could still be anything. But based on the wording here, I really feel like this is going to be something regarding uh, Budokai Tenkaichi, basically. Or Budokai, whatever they call it. Um, Demon King Piccolo, Goku... Maybe they do something like Tien. Maybe Tien is the extreme unit. Goku's the the super unit. Maybe it's Krillin. I mean, I don't know what they could possibly do, but this is still pretty enticing. So uh, let me know what you guys think. That's it for this Global Dokkan Producers letter. There's nothing else on either version in terms of any further announcements. I was kind of stalling a little bit just to see if we would get anything, but it looks like we have received nothing. So things will be confirmed 100% next week. So until then, speculate away and also enjoy this crazy, awesome cherry blossom treasure chest of nothingness all right guys that's it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know in the comments what do you think a possible dual dokkan festival could be for the world tournament from dragon ball saga do you think teen goku versus demon king piccolo or maybe uh my junior would be a good one do you think that i'm still it's not exactly clear if it's going to be necessarily a world tournament could it still be tournament of power do you think that there is still a chance that it is something Universe Survival Saga related. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know when I see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.